I mean, yes, but I think that's also in Zappos' uh, self-interest. It's not purely yeah. a philanthropical thing. The cha- you know, the, the, and this is about staying, them staying connected to their, their world, their clients. Most corporate campuses, and this is the old way of doing it, I think Zappos is definitely a leader in the new way of doing it, is you have a castle and it's separated from the rest of the world. You have a campus and uh, you, you have a gate to get in and you know people drive in there and they live in this little world for a while and they go home. But I think that um, what, what Zappos is doing in Las Vegas is saying, you know what, we don't want to be isolated from the world that we're a part of. Uh, we, we do think of the company as a city, as a part of, you know, as, a, as something that exists, maybe in some ways creates platforms, but in other ways lives on other platforms because there are platforms within platforms. And I think that um, Zappos is a perfect example of a, of a, of a, of a, a new approach to corporate um, governance that's much more uh, recognizing of its how it connects with the rest of society. I think it's smart. I think it's very smart. You know, they've got, um, you know, they've got apartments, hotel rooms, businesses, and they're investing in this little area. I think it's. Uh, I think it's very, very smart. I think that we will see. Um, I think we'll see more companies, you know, doing this kind of thing, but not beca- not for philanthropical reasons, but because it's it's in their best interest. Yeah. 